Yeah. All right. All right. Hi, I'm Curtis. I'm Marco. And this is our project, Kick the Balls. Yeah. All right, so my, our, my original goal of this was basically to ki have a, a proximity sensor down here that was supposed to sense when he was supposed to kick. And if it kicked in between his legs, and, which means balls, uh, then it would actually have LEDs that flash uh, green or red depending on if it, um, depending on if the leg hit through the balls or not. I mean, hit through the legs or not, in between the legs. So this is more of an in interactive thing. Uh, that was Marco's idea. And you could use a, um, a remote to, um, um, to, st um, to press the button when you want to uh, kick. So as you can see here. So you click power to play, and then you click this button, and it takes about three seconds to respond. <laughs> <laughs> so you lost. Yeah. yeah. And you can press And then the you can play again. Does it know when it made it, it correctly? Um, maybe. Our original idea was to have some proximity <laughs> sensor um, underneath, and it would sense if the leg actually went in between the legs. Close. Yeah. If it did, um, there was supposed to be an LED which well, we couldn't, <laughs> we, which we couldn't actually like set up above. But it would have a green or red light depending on um, if you kicked in between. If it did, it was a green light, and if it didn't, it was a red light. Yeah, that was a pretty. You that's told a pretty me cool you were game. making a merry-go-round. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it was on merry-go-round. Okay. <laughs> Uh, do you want to talk about the parts? Yeah. Well, we, we pretty much just didn't have time to calibrate the proximity sensor. Yeah. We have one, um, total rotation oh, yeah. sensor. Continuous sensor, um, that makes the guy go on and maybe go around. Yeah. Um, and and yeah, we have a servo sensor, a servo sensor. So I cut off the guy's leg, I made it to my bionic leg so he could kick. Just kick, and then we have a proximity sensor, which was supposed to be attached down here, it's supposed to sense, and which cut next to an LED, which is underneath the circuit. If you guys can't tell. Oh, yeah. uh, let's see. What did we learn? You want to start? Um, time management. Time management is a big issue. Yeah. Um, of course, the placement is also an issue because yeah. wires are not very easy to place on, especially when you're this cramped up in the space. Yeah. So I I managed to somehow pull the wires underneath. And connected down to the circuit, so it made it something pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys.